What's up, folks? It's Pastor Hassan, and it's Tuesday afternoon, and I'm here with your weekly update, just to let you know some things that are coming up in the next few days. So first up, we're going to have our next prayer meeting on tomorrow, Wednesday, November 18th, and that's going to take place at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. So if you can carve out an hour and a half or even just part of that time from 7 to 8.30 to come and pray with us, uh, that would be much appreciated. And hopefully it'll be encouraging uh, for you uh, as an individual. But we just want to set out or set aside some time to, to be praying together and to make sure that, that that stays central to what we do as a church family, that we devote ourselves to, to prayer, that we demonstrate our dependence on the Lord by, by desperately crying out to him in prayer. We looked at that from Psalm 27 uh, a number of weeks ago, but we actually want to put, the, put that into practice. And here's an opportunity for you to do that. If you can join us on, on tomorrow, Wednesday, November 18th at 7 o'clock in, uh, in the evening. <clears throat> so if you be sure and check your inboxes, I should get that invitation out to you before the night is over. And so that's the first thing up. And, and just while, while I'm on the subject of praying, um, many of you will know or will have heard about uh, the most recent developments in this um, really tragic situation involving um, the Allison family with uh, Jamar Allison. Um, the Allisons are a family that um, has been connected with us over the years. I remember um, in my early years being here, when I showed up back in 2008, Brittany was uh, in youth group. It's hard to believe. I think she was 13 at the time. And, and I had uh, different interactions with, with both brothers, Jamar and Omar, as well as uh, Mr. and Mrs. Allison although they weren't attending the church at the time. Be that as it may, this is a super, super difficult situation for them. And um, just as an act of compassion and, and love for this family that, that um, was a part of us for so long, uh, we, we really want to pray for them. And, and so I just want to encourage us to do that as a church family. We will set aside some time to do that on tomorrow night, but just in your own uh, prayer time, if you could remember uh, the Allison family and the loss of um, their, their son and, and brother, uh, Jamar. <clears throat> and then next up, the next thing that we're going to do on Friday, November 20th, is we're going to have our next devotional. And it won't be connected to what's happening in 1 Corinthians, because we will not be in 1 Corinthians this, this Sunday. Um, but be that as it may, I'll come with a, a brief devotional word that's hopefully encouraging for us going into the weekend. And so that's going to happen on Friday, October 20th at, at 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, so be on the lookout for that. And then next up, we're into um, Sunday. And for Sunday morning, this, this Sunday, Lord willing, um, our own deacon, Sean James, is going to be bringing us the word. And so if, if you would um, just be in prayer for him as he prepares and as he brings the word on Sunday, that it would be encouraging for him as he has an opportunity to, to use gifts that he's been given by God and that it would be encouraging for the body as we get to, to, to benefit from um, a brother amongst us that, that God has gifted to teach. And so, yeah, be praying for him and be praying for the word that goes forth on, on uh, Sunday October 22nd at 10:45 a.m. and and so we're going to we're going to have the sermon posted how that's going to happen I'm not entirely sure yet we have to iron out some things we we've got the live stream situation pretty well working uh, but we just got to make sure we have the the proper equipment and so on to make that happen uh, this week otherwise we will post the sermon uh, after the fact um, so that people can access that on the church's YouTube page. But for now, um, we will have the 10, 1045 in-person uh, gathering. And uh, following that, we're going to have our discussion group. Um, I actually, I'm, I need to back up. Um, I'm, I'm going to get back to you on that, on the discussion group and whether or not that, that's happening. Um, I, I'll have to get back with you on that 
about uh, about that on on Friday. So whenever I make the whenever I post the video for the Friday morning devotional, I will also inform you as to whether or not the two o'clock discussion group is is happening. So let's let's put a pin in that for right now. But but for sure, uh, at four o'clock on Sunday, November twenty second. Um, Junior church will take place. So from four o'clock to four thirty, the kids will meet with Miss Wood and uh, Sister Agatha Campbell. And um, yeah, so if you're a parent or someone who is aware of kids that could benefit from from this, and it would be good for them, you can uh, touch base with me, and I'll, I'll I'll get you set up with what you need. Um, so that's going to happen at, at four from four to four thirty, and then the next thing up is our Sunday school class, which meets at 6.30, also via Zoom. So um, for now, given the current restrictions and so on, the recommendations that are being made, uh, both at the provincial level and uh, in terms of the city, we are okay to meet so long as we don't exceed the capacity of uh, 50 people, which we, we haven't very often at all. And so we're going to continue to meet in person until the time comes that they say, okay, um, that, that, that's not permissible. So as long as we can meet safely and as long as our governing officials aren't saying don't meet, we will continue to meet in, in person. But as I said on, on last week, if you have reservations about that, you have underlying health issues, like we want to encourage you to do to do what, what you think is best. Um, but at the same time, we wanna encourage people to feel free to, to gather with us in person. And so the last thing I wanna do just by way of reminder is I want to remind you of our memory verse for the month. So you got one more week this week and or actually two more weeks, this the rest of this week and then next week. And then Lord willing on, uh, on Sunday the 29th, we'll recite it together. But it's uh, from Nahum chapter one verse Two, it says, God is jealous and the Lord avenges. The Lord avenges and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserves wrath for his enemies. And so we're, we're, I know there's a lot of, about the Lord's wrath and his vengeance in this, in this verse, but we're focusing particularly on God's jealousy, this idea that, that he zealously guards his own name, his own reputation, and, and the hearts of his people. He, he's jealous for what he uh, rightfully deserves, which is all honor and, and glory and praise and, and the affection of, of his people. And so we're going to recite that, Lord willing, in, in a couple of weeks' time, but I would encourage you to continue working on that and, and meditating on it. Okay, so that's it. As I said, um, guess the next time you'll see me, unless you show up for prayer meeting on tomorrow night, is, is Friday morning when you tune in to the, the daily devotional. And I'll have an update for you regarding um, the discussion group, whether or not that's going to happen, and if any changes uh, will be made uh, in the future going forward regarding our in-person gathering. So stay tuned and um, keep looking to the Lord. Keep looking out for each other. And uh, in the meantime, take care. God bless. Love you.